You are just about to see the very first American shooting footage of the Pedersoli Borbuster Mark II in 4570. Hello folks and welcome to the Adventure Cowboy Channel. I'm Clayton Markser. This is the Pedersoli Borbuster Mark II in 4570. If you go back into my videos, you'll see a review for the Hogzilla Killa, which is the Cimarron version of the Pedersoli Borbuster, the original one. After the original Borbuster had been out for a little while, I was offered the opportunity to sit down with Mr. Pedersoli himself and start sketching out some redesigns of the Borbuster rifle. The results of all that redesign is a Pedersoli Borbuster Mark II. I've been testing this Pedersoli Borbuster Mark II really hard for the last several months. And I hunted with it a lot. And I was even able to take an elk with it. The very first elk ever taken with a Pedersoli Borbuster Mark II. This is not the full review video. That video is coming out really soon. However, recently I was testing the Borbuster Mark II with several different kinds of ammunition. And I wanted to see how well it fed. And I thought that the performance warranted its own video. So check this out. To test the feeding reliability of the Borebuster Mark II, I'm loading five different rounds with five very different projectile points into the magazine. The first round will be a Hornady 250 grain monoflex bullet. The second round will be a Powder River cartridge 350 grain round nose flat point. The third cartridge will be a Hornady 325 grain lever evolution. The next cartridge will be a 300 grain Remington jacketed hollow point. And the final cartridge will be a Powder River cartridge 430 grain flat point hard cast. I've loaded five very different rounds into the magazine. Now, of course, they're all 4570. However, they vary greatly in size and shape of the bullet. I'm going to shoot these five cartridges as fast as I can work the lever. I'm not going for any sort of accuracy here. I'm really just trying to see how well the gun is going to feed all these different types of bullets. Well, as far as feeding reliability goes, it doesn't get much better than that. It uh, ran all five of those very different rounds, very smooth and very fast. For an 1886 action and a big 4570 cartridge, that was pretty fast. And likely the only reason you'd ever need to fire a 4570 that fast is if a big grizzly bear is coming after you and you got to save your life. I love it. Old Ferguson and I really appreciate you watching this video. If you'd like to keep up with our content, please click the subscribe button down below. If you'd like to see more of our videos, click one of these links.